Hey everyone, it's Isip. I'm ready to do another, oh, I forgot what I call them, review time on the go, I think it was called. I don't know, one of my mobile one is. I'll find out when I got on YouTube. And yeah, it's me, Islip, and yes, on the street. Well, in my housing complex. Well, not housing, not in housing, but apartment complex, there we go. And let's see if I can fish out of my pocket the figure that I want to do. And you can see today's a, a, a cloudy day. It's a little dark. Uh, we're getting ready for the two storms that are supposed to meet and then be joined up by a hurricane. So we'll see if that actually happens. But in the meantime, I'm going to review this. The Fall of Cybertron. Jazz. And now... I know I said I wasn't going to get any more of the current Hasbro stuff. That I was just going to focus on retro stuff because I'm not happy with with Hasbro, with, with what they're putting out. But I got this figure because I got the Fall of Cybertron game. And I beat it. And to be honest with you, I think that... The depiction in the fall of Cybertron of this figure, of this character, I should say, I mean, was really great. It reminded me of, um, it reminded me a bit of, of the G1 Jazz with Scatman Carruthers. Oh, excuse me. But without being over stereotypical, I hated the way Michael Bay depicted Jazz. I thought the car mode and the robot mode was fine. But the whole wannabe gangster thug thing sucked. I didn't like the way he was portrayed and animated because he was like some kind of hippie or something. You know? I don't know. I, he wasn't a hippie, but you, you know, mystical mumbo jumbo. Yeah, no. So, anyway, I saw this yesterday and I've got some older figures on the way, but I decided to get a hold of this guy just to complete. My fall of Cybertron, and also because I like the figure, I mean the character. Let's put this down here. So, I've gotten this. To be honest with you, I'm extremely not happy with this figure. Um, I'm, I'm, a little I'm a little better off with it today than I was yesterday when I first got it, but um, to be honest with you, this thing feels like a knockoff. Especially compared to the other figures in this line, this really feels like a knockoff. Very well detailed, but the paint, just the plastic, it all feels very knockoffish. The way he transforms, I mean, look at that. His legs are right there and they've got wheels to, I mean, I understand there's a cheat involved, but that was just, that's just, this one just took it a little too far. So, anyway, uh, sorry for the win and I'm about to do the transformation. First thing you do, well, oh, uh... First thing we're gonna do is take the gun off and we're gonna plug it into the arm only so I don't lose it because I'm in the street. Um, there's lots of paint details missing. There's paint right everywhere. There's paint details missing. Um, but this is one instance where I'm glad I didn't spend the extra for the Takara or get, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything to this figure. He doesn't deserve it. It's really not that good. So you float, fold over the arms like so and they kind of, little slot here it goes right in there um undo the it's a little clip here and all of this feels very scary to be honest with you i'm always afraid i'm gonna break it i mean i can already see stress marks on on the inside of the clip and then this part is scary too Ugh. ouch and painful let's unclip this and I hate this, this sucks. And look, there's people walking. So you can see I'm not making it up that I'm in the street. Hopefully I'll finish this before the battery dies. Clip it together. Come over here, pull the legs down, fold the feet. Uh, flip this up like that and bring this down like so. Rotate these like this, flip those down. Rotate, flip down. And then 
you take this part and you bend it and as you bend it the head starts to get into place and then you it's like right here you can see those little notches the little clip fits right over the blue pieces there and then you just take the gun and put it in either hand and now we're ready to to go so so and you can see people everywhere if it's not blurry but yeah and sorry about that that is the fall of cybertron figure it looked much better in the packaging it's i mean the paint should i don't know I, it just looks and feels like a ko look at that big old space right there there's no excuse for that i can understand a few spaces i know they got some hollow bits to and look at his legs are so teeny compared to the rest of them this really looks ridiculous um his arms rotate 360 at the shoulders upper bicep rotates he's got a ratchety joint in his elbow that lets him bend his elbow either way um i, I swear the plastic feels it feels almost shampoo bodily yeah like when you get because it's it's flexing in, in parts it's really not cool this is ridiculous this has got to be the thinnest transformer i've ever had so and I'm walking across the street, but yeah, no light piping, that's fine with me. Let's see, although why his eye has to be a, a black, blah, I don't know. S seeing this in proper lighting doesn't make this figure look any better. Oh yeah, I forgot you're supposed to make those go out. On the packaging, his little shoulder things go out way more. But yeah, uh, no waist movement uh, hands are on a ball joint so you can rotate them and you can swivel them he's got ball joint leg and then at rotate rotate a little bit at the inner thigh knee bends and you can also rotate it and the foot can pivot forward due to transformation like uh, like that okay final thought 1597 not worth this this figure is not worth 1597 i mean 1547 even with my discount figure is not worth it i know people are complaining oh you know the full of cybertron prime is you know what he feels more solid than this guy um shockwave feels more solid than this guy this guy may be almost proper size actually it, honestly it looks like his legs are too small for his body to be honest with you it really does so anyway that's my thoughts just pass on them i'm sorry i didn't pass on them so i mean that's my my you know your mileage may vary or you know whatever the catchphrase is to be honest with you personally i think this this figure is not worth it was, it's not worth picking up even if it was it was a if it was a five dollar figure maybe barely maybe but fifteen dollars no way so that's me and now i'm out